The Backman Van Wide, a brand new model, newly tooled, arrived in the shops just recently. The RRP of 3995 at first seems a bit steep for a four wheel box van, but as we'll see, the level of detail on this model, in my opinion, justifies the price just. The box and interior packaging is of the current quality and dimensions for a model of this size from Backman. Along with the model there is a bag of additional detail parts and an instruction sheet included in the box. Hornby produced one of these way back when, albeit on a generic chassis meaning the body was of the incorrect size. This is the first accurate double O scale model of this type. As we can see here the detail is well defined and there is a lot of it. The correct style buffers, the right variant of axle box covers and many other fixtures and fittings on the chassis and below the sole bars. And according to those that know more about these wagons than me, it's also very accurate. Like the oil tank wagons I reviewed a while back, these wagons also come with blackened wheels and I'll state again that I'd like to see these produced as a spare part. Backman have produced four versions in their original state, one pre-tops and three with vacuum brake tops coats, all in bauxite livery, one of them being weathered. In the late 1970s a batch of 50 of these vans were fitted with upgraded FAT19 long link suspension and converted to air brake. In the early 1980s a further 500 were similarly converted in three batches all gain in the TOPS code VEA. Four versions have also been produced in model form, three from the Speedlink era and one in rail freight distribution livery. 2000 van wides were built in the early 1960s, mostly to the same design. The last hundred built were with translucent polyester roofs, presumably to let light into the van when loading or unloading. I think I'd be right in saying that initially the van wides were used on specific traffics often seen in block trains. Avon mouth docks would be a common place to find many of them. As time went on and the special traffic finished, they became more of a common user vehicle. The air braked ones found themselves used on military duty to various places around the country. I've certainly towed a few on one of my favourite jobs, 6C61, to Carlisle. Seen here, happily going round the test track at Trains For You, Mark doing an excellent job of guiding them round the second radius curves and available at said establishment for a discounted price of 35 95 